Hey everybody, if uh, you've been following this channel, you probably realize that one of the bands that really influences me a lot these days is The Contortionist. I've figured out something that they do in a couple of their songs I wanted to share with you. I really like it a lot. It's about their creative use of dissonance using open string forms in uh, the middle of passages. If you know anything about The Contortionist, you might know that they started out as very rhythmically oriented, very genty very prog band using seven strings, detune most of the time. But recently they've really changed it up and they've been writing more melodically and harmonically rich songs. So these days it seems like their writing is a lot more about the creative use of dissonance and tension and release. And to that end I have three examples I want to uh, show you in three different songs where they use uh, some pretty cool moments of dissonance at key points and riffs that I think have a really cool impact. So let's look at the first one. The first example is here in from the album Language. This album Language is where they kind of switched and started uh, writing a little bit more harmonically interesting songs and taking more of a hard rock uh, direction rather than a genty, very proggy direction. So the first example here is Language One from the album Language. And it starts at about the four minute in 10 second mark, uh, it's the bridge of the song, and it goes like this. So you get it. So what they're doing there is that first chord I like a lot is this. So that's cool. It's like a first fret major figure, right? Just like you would be playing a bar chord. But you're only fretting the notes that are under your fingers and the rest of the strings are ringing out clear. So that's the first example, but it gets better. I like this one a little bit more even. Uh, so on relapse, at about two and a half minutes just before, there's this passage. So what I like about that is this chord right here. So to demonstrate this one, I'm going to have to tune up real quick. Okay, so that riff is... So again, it's the same form, it's just uh, this song is in a tuning, a standard B, seven string tuning, the last song was in B flat. Um, so it's the same form, but it's a different sort of rhythmic use of it, so... Cool. So the third example is in Clairvoyant from the same album, Clairvoyant, at about, let me see, right at the start here. Right there.
back that up again. Right here. This one's on six string. So, this one is on the sixth string in drop D, and it goes like this. Well, that's the chord. That's the dissonant chord we're using. Right? So it's. Again, using open strings on the top and fretting your chord form on the bottom. Pretty cool. So uh, I hope this was interesting. Something I really like that the contortionist does. Maybe you can pick it up and use it in your own playing.